Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris. Um, we are in the middle of our war with the coalition of Panaxella Prime in the Mythfell Order. We are um, in the Eubalon system right now, uh, which is um, just, uh, just newly conquered by us. Um, we were kind of holding out in a defensive position in Jorlwar, um, and then we finally kind of pushed onto the offensive and took the Ubalon system. We're going to take Weezer back for ourselves in just a second. And then I think we're going to try and hold out these systems and just keep them defended uh, throughout the end of the war. And maybe we can push for a white piece. Um, let's see. All our science ships are occupied. This fleet is looking like it's due for some repairs. Some of the... Um, some of the ships are very badly damaged, so I think we're just going to send in our MSI warship, our recovered asset, to the Weezer system to take it back, and the other we are going to send to Joel Wall for repairs. Um, as far as our planets go, let's just check and make sure everything's in order before we unpause. So Favaria, Desadia both have plenty of jobs and available housing. Um, Karim, same deal. In Fortalia, only two available jobs uh, and three housing. Um, we're probably fine on all these planets. I really, we really need more um, consumer goods. We're actually going to be out of consumer goods in a matter of months. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell off a whole bunch of minerals and use that to buy some consumer goods for the time being. Now. Um, I think maybe I shouldn't have sold off that many minerals. We can sell off 500 food as well, um, buy some minerals. It might be worth um, getting an additional industrial district on one of these worlds. Um, and so this, I think, okay, I think I really want to keep this one specialized to just, um, agriculture districts and then i think we're also going to put some a bunch of research labs on this planet and maybe some more like specialized um things but i don't think we're really going to go for industry on this planet this i really want to focus on industry and we already are um i just really need to get those jobs filled um so i think on our just on our capital world for now i'm going to go ahead and build the civilian industries and um we can dismantle this later on, but for now, um, that's just gonna give us some more jobs that might get filled um, as we keep on playing for it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and unpause, and I think once we kind of have control of these systems and we're just on the defensive, I'm gonna move um, part of my fleet up here to start pushing and putting the pressure on the Mythfell Order so they don't get any ideas um, about um, attacking us here. All right, we'll go ahead and unpause. Anomaly found. Cold wastes. Sensors pick up unexpected activity from an isolated point on Ophiel 6's frozen surface. Alright. Let's figure out what that is. Okay. Negative trait gained by one of our governors. Encryption minus one, that's not great. The Exile. The readings originate from a small research outpost which the Favarian Republic has no records of establishing or indeed authorizing on the surface of ISS Yvaldin. It is staffed by one Valdari scientist, a fairly talented and industrious one if their research on ISS Yvaldin is anything to go by. There is a problem with regards to their identity, however. We have been unable to match them against state records, and they refuse to identify themselves, save for stating that they are in exile. They have expressed an interest in returning to Favaria and serving the Favarian Republic directly, on the condition that the ISS Yvaldim immediately deposits, uh, depart ISS Yval... Okay, it's weird that these ships have the same name. And no Valdari ships ever return there. Um, no. We don't trust this guy. If he was in exile, he's in exile for a reason. So we're gonna search the outpost. Hostile station engaged. 
cold and empty there is nothing unusual about the research outposts itself it is a little temporary shelter erected against the savage elements allowing surface level planetary study uh, for a limited time before it wears down and conditions become untenable the outpost on iss yavaldim is nearing the end of its lifespan but the planet's intense chill has yet to critically degrade the impermanent structure the equipment functional cheap intended to be abandoned is well used and the local data banks are filled uh, with detailed but ultimately mundane accounts of the planet as well as simple experiments that were carried out in its harsh environment curiously no closer examination seems to have been made of the mineral outcropping the outpost foundations rest on scans by the iss yavaldim indicate the geological formation a mountain but mostly buried under ice may be partially hollow a hollow mountain more alarmingly, science officer Kali De Den reports that the sole inhabitant of the outpost, the mysterious exile, has gone missing and is nowhere to be found. Good thing we didn't trust him. He sounds very suspicious. So the sovereignty of Karus is now our rival as well. Wow. We have not found a single friendly, um, a single friendly alien species in the galaxy. Um, this is quite the hostile playthrough. Our Minister of Defense needs leveling up. All right. Military fleet effects, artillery weapons damage, and ship weapons range. That's pretty good. This is also really good. Gunship focus, because we don't really have any large, large guns right now. I think we'll take this. This is more general. We have a lot of small and medium slot weapons, so that's going to be good for us. System survey complete. All right. And our flagship is gonna take this uh, space station in no time. It looks like it has a lot of um, hangar bays on it. Construction All right. complete. Our science ship needs orders. Okay. Well, this is all owned by uh, the Heth Menace. So we really have nowhere to survey. So we're going to take our scientists and we are going to move up here and we're going to try and research some debris when we can. Construction ship, great. We own the Darep system. Um, actually, I think we need to continue pushing out fast before the Heth Menace so we can at least secure this kind of local area. The Waltham system would be nice, but we'll do what we need. Okay, so good news. Our fleet is mostly um, mostly healed up. We control the Weezer system again. We control Ubalon. So I think we're gonna move our um, I think we're gonna move our MSI flagship in, back into the Drawwar system, and then we're gonna move this fleet of corvettes up north. Foreign Empire claims our system. The Coalition has claimed the Darep system. Well, good luck with that. Are you willing to accept a status quo? Not quite yet. That's fine. Incoming transmission, a new colony. Hello again. You will be pleased to learn that our species has quadrupled in number since we arrived. Many of us were swept up in a festive mood when we made planet fall and things got a bit frisky to say the least after the positive experience we had colonizing balderock oh okay so um these must be the gas the gaseous aliens that we uh, i remember balderock um a few brave pioneers have asked me to petition you for passage to another gas giant we have already located a promising candidate within your space that would be suitable that would be suitable for colonization what do you say friends Sure. You know what? You guys are the only friendly alien species we found out there. We can trust you, um, unlike everyone else. So we're happy to help. Well, as long as it's just another gas giant. Okay. So, um, this scientist, who's actually going to research projects in Yubalon and maybe Sasara, can go and establish a Dothnut colony afterwards. 
Okay, so this scientist is going to be busy for the time being. Okay. Great news. So once we get our um, fleet upgraded, you know, I'm wondering if it's worth actually not moving our fleet north and actually just continue putting pressure on the coalition. Um, we can kind of invade here and see if we could even complete. maybe um, conquer Panaxala to force them to um, surrender. Um, let's go to army builder and let's build a bit of an assault army. Um, we have two currently. And so I'm going to build six more armies. And that's going to give us a total of eight army power. And then we can use that to uh, invade Panaxala if we need. And I think as long as I don't see any forces from the Midfell Order, I'm going to treat them like they are nominally involved in the war, but not, not de facto involved in the war. So we're just going to keep all of our troops here and we're going to fight against the coalition. I won't hold a grudge against them. Um, the myth fell order if they don't if they don't actually do anything to support us in this war uh to support Ships the coalition upgraded. in the war. first contact event the heth menace our linguists have recently made significant progress towards decoding the language used in the signals from the heth menace apparently they now believe themselves to have a solid grasp on its fundamentals and promise that they will soon be able to repeat uh report further findings all right keep at it great uh, we can level up one of our scientists um, and I think we're about done surveying for now so we don't need any more uh, survey um, survey skills like prospector we don't really need like so I guess sublight speed is probably the better option for us um, construction ship needs orders um, great um, let's move you into Durep and we can start building our stations there. All right, so the MSI warship, let's move into the Unimar system and uh, take this. We might not be able to keep control over it, but at the very least, um, we can continue putting the pressure on. Um, our fleet has been fully upgraded, and I think we're going to go ahead and click this to reinforce the fleet. Construction complete. Death of a great leader. Our great commander, Maki uh, Jabasim, has passed away at the age of 81 while in service to our empire. Okay. Our people clamor for a memorial service to honor this leader's contribution to the Favarian Republic. A grand event will give everyone closure and bolster our ideals. A small commemoration will suffice. Name on the wall. Maki Jabasim's name and title are carved on a towering monument alongside others who served the Favarian Republic for the good of its population. The respected commander will be fondly remembered by the people, paving the way for future generations and leaders. Wow. Okay. So that was our ruler. We now have no president, or I guess it's um, the commissary general. We now no have we, we now have no commissary general, and it looks like our current minister of defense is poised to uh, fill that gap. And so our new minister of defense, I think, can be this new uh, paragon that we um, have put in control of our MSI warship and is improving very valuable to us. Okay. Kleptomaniac rats. At the very center of the city, overlooking the main square, is a grand, ostensibly de uh, decorated palace with a garish neon sign advertising the Empress Motel. Inside it are lavish chambers filled to the brim with treasure, from which the Empress and her bo board of trusted advisors governed. It is also where the hoarders held their last stand, defending their Empress and her precious Rubricator. With any luck, the Rubricator can still be found in its usual spot by the Empress's Lilac Ribbon. Okay, we're getting close. We're gonna find out what this Rubricator is and what it can do for us. Okay, we control Halito. We're gonna continue pushing our influence this way. Okay. So, 
we're going to go ahead and push into the Ubalon system. So they currently have about 4k fleet power to match our 6, 6k here. So I'm actually going to leave the MSI warship here and let them come to us if they want to attack us. Hostile fleet detected. Yep, and our Corvette um, fleet is coming to reinforce. Okay. Debris analyzed. Great. We're learning. Um, we're learning from their from their wreckage. This is this is great. Okay. We're going to go mm -hmm. ahead and uh, survey this debris in the system. All right, we are receiving a transmission from the Sandarin Authority. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities between us have ceased for the moment. This must be the Heth Menace. They probably beat us to the, to the punchline. All right. Fanatic, xenophobic, and materialist. We are the Sandaran Authority, minions of the wise overseer Mekt Un Itek. Our aim is to improve ourselves through the use of technology. Whether you agree with those goals or not, do not think to challenge us, alien. Yeah, keep to yourselves, okay? You keep to yourselves, we'll keep to ourselves. Okay, so yet another xenophobic species. They seem... Well, I thought the Mythfell Order was also fairly isolationist. Um, these guys also seem isolationist, so hopefully they'll leave us alone. That would be the best possible outcome. Okay. The uh, fleets from that system are withdrawing, so we're going to take the MSI warship and we're going to push into Unimar. All right. Archaeological site finished. The Shattered. Another Gruner data crystal has been unearthed, detailing a series of military orders, including the coordinates of another bull colony. Wow, how many of these are we going to find? Our archaeologists, eager to unravel the history of these two foes, are uploading the data right now. Third time's the charm. Okay, hopefully this third belt, uh, colony is going to be uh, enlightening for us. Okay, uh, we have an open council position, Minister of Defense. Okay, so our Commissary General was our previous Minister of Defense, and now we can move this new um, renowned Paragon, this new commander, we can uh, promote him to our council. Fantastic. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and let's find out where this new project is. Where is this new colony? Oops. I didn't mean to do that. This is on Sismak. Sismak 2. Okay. So where's our scientist currently that was working on this this project? Okay, this is our um, our, our bull specialist. Our head of research is, is heading this project. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to research projects in the system. Okay. Construction complete. Construction complete. Here, okay. We are going to continue pushing our borders aggressively this way. Establish control over this uh, cluster for ourselves. Debris analyzed. Okay, we are taking the Unimar system. All right, fantastic news. This war couldn't be going better for us. It could not be going any better. Research complete. All right, and we just finished uh, unlocking the Faculty of Archaeo Studies, which is great. So we can up our fleet command limit. We could up our pop growth speed, um, claim influence class and in war exhaustion gain. Not really that important to us right now. 
I'm gonna go for pops pop growth speed. Um, we really need to just grow our grow our empire quickly. Fantastic. Gain control Research of this space complete. station, and we are going to push into Panexala if we can. Okay, we have point defense technology now. Um, I think it's about time we uh, got the fusion reactor, because all of these new components are going to start costing us more and more energy. Okay, so we're going to take these two fleets. Of course... Um, this commander, who uh, we put in charge of uh, taking down the rebellion on Yemether, um, we're going to go ahead and transfer his command to this fleet. So now both fleets have a commander. Um, so great. We're going to move these two into their home system of Panaxala and see if we can't wrestle control of, for that system. Okay. So let's merge all of these transport fleets. Once we get them merged, we're going to go ahead and give them a move order to Panaxala. Construction complete. Construction complete. This is over this system. All right, and we're going to take the Waltham system, and then we'll have a nice border here, and I think this will probably be the about the final borders of our empire unless we do some conquering. I don't know if this is going to be a conquering run. We'll have to see. Right now, we're only claiming the Ubalon system from the uh, coalition because I don't see our um, our empire Hostile as conquering. station engaged. I think it makes sense to control the Ubalon system, but I don't think we need to be overly ambitious beyond that. Research complete. All right, we've got strike craft. Debris analyzed. We can go ahead and improve those strike craft. We could get better habitability. We could get more uh, housing from our city districts. Oh, so many good options. We can get. Uh, we could get rare crystals. Well, seeing as we don't really use all that many strike craft right now, I think we're going to go for rare crystals. It's time we can start Special exploiting these resources. Complete. Former Bull Colony, the Silence. Our researchers were excited to discover the location of the third Bull Colony corresponds to a planet still possessing an atmosphere and life. No way. How did we just miss this when we surveyed the system? While Sysmach 2 does not seem particularly lush and remarkably resource laden, our scientists are eager to begin a targeted excavation to search for any remnants of the bull or the crooner. Okay. So. Oh, no, this is the same ocean world that's been there the whole time. Um. I think we were mentioning that we might terraform it once we got access to that terraforming technology. Okay, so this appears to be um, a former bull world. So let's see if we can find any evidence of the conflict on this world. So I need to find my scientist. Great. We are going to excavate this site. Fantastic. And our scientist needs orders. Great. Council agenda ready. So, if this science ship needs orders, then we are going to go and start excavating some archaeological sites. So, surface scans of Ravenic 5A have picked up signs of a technological civilization may have been active on this planet, but has since gone extinct. We will need to mount a surface expedition to learn more. Okay, so let's find out about this old civilization on here. All right, council agenda ready. Yes. Strong on our own. No, display of power is what we just got. Much less war exhaustion gain. Fantastic. Militarist ethics attraction. Sure. Influence from power projection. Plus one. Not bad. All right, we're done exploring. So I think we can take off chart the unknown. I think we could probably go for citizen pop happiness. Speaking of our exploration and surveying being mostly done, let's go to our government tab. And let's change out this map to Star's Edict. We don't need survey speed and anomaly discovery chance anymore. 
Um, we have the edicts fund. No, we don't have the edicts fund for research subsidies. But I think we're going to take it, the hit to our unity anyways, and we're going to increase our research output by 10%. Okay. Fantastic. Yes, that's going to be good for us. And it's going to increase our research uh, upkeep, which is going to mean that we need even more consumer goods, but we'll be fine. All right. Hopefully the space station is about to crumble. It's a tough nut to crack, but we're doing it. Okay. We have all of our transport fleets here ready to go. We're going to send them into Panic Sala. Are they ready for a status quo? We might even just push for a full victory at this point. Okay. We control Panic Sala. So I think we're going to rest up a moment. Well, actually, do we have enough fleet power to take this system? I think we do. So I'm going to send my recovered asset to take this space station. And I'm going to let my Starfleet rest at the Panic Sala uh, system and see if we can start to repair this fleet. Okay. Fantastic. Outspoken expansionist. In a fiery speech, Baron uh, Victor Jaradin declared that the nation's focus must be on expansion. He submitted two plans on how the fleet could use additional resources to further such a goal. Both options are valid and could benefit us greatly in the long run. However, implementing both plans at once is impossible. A strong fleet will show them our might. So this is going to be kind of the conquering route. Superior logistics will lead us to victory. Okay. Um, I think a strong fleet is what we're focusing on right now. So, curious. There is now evidence that we have um, voices in our government pushing for expansion through war. Which means we might consider taking some more claims from the coalition. I think at least pushing up these colonies here. We might not, we will leave our defenses at Jorawar and Yubalan, and these will be kind of more undefended systems. But uh, at least we can get access to these resources here. Yeah. Right? They started this war. So, all we're doing is obliging them. Just reciprocating. They want to conquer us. We can conquer them too. Okay. Fantastic. So complete. we're going to move this fleet over Panic Sala Prima and we're going to start bombarding Hostile them. Fleet engaged. Okay. We're going to do indiscriminate bombing. We don't, we're not particularly pacifist. Um, we're a militarist society. Death from above. The orbitable bombardment of Panic Sala Prima has sparked our council to discuss how we should respond to the hypothetical scenario of a surrender. Yeah, if they surrender, we will allow it. Of course, we're not barbarians. Um, Starbase upkeep, minus 20%. Sure. Okay. So, we're starting the siege of Panic Sala. Fantastic. So it looks like our MSI warship can sit at such a high range that it's not even getting attacked back. It's able to send in its strike craft and just complete. sit back here perfectly safe. We could almost take any space station with this. Okay. So we have successfully pushed all the way to the Walton system, which I honestly didn't think we were going to do, but that's fantastic. Okay, so we have pretty we have a pretty nice borders right now. Uh, I don't like to get um, my empire to be too overstretched and big, especially not in the early game, but even in the late game, I don't really like micromanaging, so I think a size like this is nice and manageable, and I think we'll probably stick to this for most of the game. Okay.
They brought their fleet in to try and attack us, but we are going to show them. Okay, yeah, it doesn't even look like we're going to lose a single ship in the process. And hopefully they will have lost several. Nope, we did lose one. Research complete. Research complete? Fusion reactors, fantastic. Now we can get hyperdrive 2, which is going to be good. We can get gravitic sensors, which is going to be really good. Let's get the hyperdrive 2. This is going to make um, traveling across our empire a lot quicker. I think hyperdrive makes it uh, quicker to leap from system to system. Okay, so we went from 22 to 20, so... Looks like we lost two Corvettes, but they lost all 15. Wow. That's a terrible loss for them. Okay, great news. Um, our commander, who we now put in control of that fleet, has leveled up, and we're going to give this commander the Admiral trait. Fantastic. Okay. So our MSI warship is ready to keep on pushing. So I think we're going to go into the Savasic system. We're just going to do a kind of loop around here and we'll end back on Panexala. Um, this fleet needs to... needs to repair... but I think we're not gonna move it to repair just yet. No, no. We're gonna quickly enter the orbit and we're gonna repair, and then we'll go back to bombarding the planet. Okay. Fantastic. War is going well. How are our planets doing? Fortalia can upgrade its capital building. That's great. Has zero job, has an unemployment on this planet. Okay, how are we doing on food? We don't really need any more food districts, so I'm going to go ahead and build a city district here, and then we're going to build some more buildings like research on this planet. Our forge world, yes, we need to expand this forge world, so if we have unemployment on our other worlds, it's actually fine. Those unemployed pops will uh, migrate to Corum. Um, hold on, did I say Corum was a forge world? I don't want this to be a forge world. That's why we're so low on uh, consumer goods because all of these industrial districts are just producing alloys. Um, I should have been more careful about this. I don't like this auto designation. Um, eventually I would like to have separate forge world and factory worlds, but for the time being, we don't have enough planets for that. So we're gonna specialize this as an industrial world. Um, yeah which is going to provide lesser bonuses, but it's going to be for both consumer goods and for alloys. Um, while we're at it, instead of auto-designating all these, let's make sure that this is manually chosen as a uh, generator world. This is an industrial world. Um, for Talia, we were going to make uh, an agri world would be not bad, but I think we're also going to do tech here. I think the agriculture is kind of going to be like a side project for us, but I think for now we're going to specialize it. Uh, no, let's let's have it as an agri world. That farmer output plus 25% is going to be really good for us. Okay, and auto designated, we're going to leave this set as our empire capital. Okay, fantastic. Hopefully we can get terraforming technology soon. I know I just passed it up. Uh, earlier, but then we can start terraforming these worlds and colonizing them as well. Hostile station engaged. Okay. Construction complete. All right. This is the uh, the Rubricator um, archaeological site complete. The archaeologists were preparing to leave when they happened upon a large hidden chamber clustered with artifacts, gnawed bones, and a substantial amount of fresh slobber. 
Uh oh, this must be what ate all of those, um, those rats. There, under a used royal nose swab. Ew, ew. Um, on a four-legged table with a carving of a face they confirmed was indeed funny, sat the rubricator. Maker of thingamajigs, right where it was supposed to be. What the heck is this? A maker of thingamajigs. A tiny insignificant looking cube spewing out a continuous stream of artifacts. The rubricator is a replicator, an ingenious alien invention that can make endless copies of just about any artifact, and soon it is ours. The planet side team will begin the journey back in the safety of the ship. Thankfully, we will never know what attacked the hoarders. Okay, good. Seems like we just, um, we avoided the uh, the danger there. Okay, so that's good. So this science team can go and excavate another archaeological site. Um, let's go ahead and let's find out what this library is. A thick layer of glass and metal covers this barren planet, perhaps hinting at some sort of cataclysmic event in the past. Okay, yeah. Let's move this researcher down here and let's excavate this site. Construction ship needs orders. Um, sure, we're going to go ahead and build mining stations and all these... Uh, systems that we establish control over. I think we're gonna establish control over Dacha so we can find out um, more about these um, these weird uh, aliens living on all the Gaia worlds. Talons from the Void. A s where is shard? Okay. <laughs> okay. So I I thought that we had like gotten a percent chance for like a safe ending to the archaeological event chain and everything was all right because i i knew something something bad was going to happen with this event chain and apparently we didn't escape it um the shard thing we'll go and take a look at it in a second let's see what it says a snarling hissing fiend has appeared out of the void with one swipe of her giant talon, she snatched the archaeology shuttle carrying the excavation team and the rubricator back to the iss the dirim bending it open and prying the rubricator from within. Wow. This thing must really like the rubricator. It seems we have finally had the displeasure of meeting the hoarding rat's assailant. The dragon must have been attracted by the countless treasure and made her nest within the royal palace, feasting upon their bodies. Perhaps she was on the prowl observe, or, or observed from afar as we excavated the ruins, waiting for the right moment to strike. She appears to be growling something in our general direction. Okay, let's translate um, her noises. She's going to see what she has to say. The rats went squeak, squeak, squeak. Then their bones went crunch, crunch, crunch. Now it's your turn to tickle the inside of Shard's belly. Yes, you have been naughty, little ones. The rubricator belongs to Shard. Ah, uh, I don't know if we can fight this thing right now. Please don't hurt us. The dragon squints and exposes her fangs, sizing up the ship's crew, then recoils in disgust. Why, you look like a stomach ache and a half. No thank you, but if you ever have the audacity to return, Shard will pick her, te her teeth with your bones. Yes, she will. Now leave before I get hungry. Wow. So what is this thing? This thing was on the planet, hoarding all the treasure from the rats, and it stole the rubricator from us. And it says it's going to let us go right now, but if we come back, it's going to attack us. I wonder how much fleet power we need to take this thing on. Okay, maybe when the war is over, we're going to test this, test this out and see. I don't know if that's a good idea right now, um, but we're going to find out. So did we just lose that science ship forever? We did, didn't we? Oh no, it's just missing in action. Okay, that's fine. It'll come back. We have now found beings far surpassing anything encountered in our empire's spacefaring history. Life capable of growing to an unprecedented scale, rivaling moons in size and mass. Nothing could have prepared us for this. This day will forever mark a turning point in the story of the Favarian Republic. Let us hope we survive long enough to tell it. We are but motes of dust. Um, alright. 
I think we're going to call the episode here. Um, the last episode ran a little long and I want to avoid um, having another long episode uh, this time as well. So the war is going really well. Uh, we've really pushed far into the Panic Zala territory. Uh, we're besieging their home planet right now. We have an army on the way to uh, invade the planet. Um, and uh, we made progress on this rubricator. Uh, we found out that it is a replicator. It can make just about anything, but it was being secretly guarded by this dragon, I guess they called it, space dragon. Um, anyways, so I guess that's good news and bad news. It didn't kill us. It says if we ever come back though, it's gonna kill us. So maybe we give wide berth around this system. Um, but yeah, next episode, um, I'm hoping we can wrap up this war. Um, and once we wrap up this war, we can see to f fortifying our new borders. Um, and maybe, maybe seeking some better diplomatic relationships with our neighbors. It seems like all of our neighbors are really displeased with us right now. And I think we're going to need to improve that a little bit. Okay. So, uh, that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.